Now onto a different form. What if they ask in the form of a word problem? Well, guess what? My process doesn't change. I'm still looking for clues. We have m equals and b equals slope y intercept. Well, in terms of a word problem, m is going to be some sort of a, a rate, um, some sort of a change over time. It's going to be constantly changing. Um, B is going to be more of a starting point of some kind, some place where you're starting. Well, let's read the question, and it's very important that we find what we're trying to do. City Parking Garage charges a flat rate of $3 for parking, two hours or less, and $0.50 cents per hour for each additional hour. Write a linear model that gives a total charge in terms of additional hours parked. Well, here's the thing. The question. Write a linear model. That's basically what we're trying to do. We need an equation here that gives a total charge in terms of the additional hours parked. Now, when we see this in terms of, that's going to key us off. Uh, that's going to trigger us to think, hey, they're telling me what the y and the x are. Now, what's in front of the in terms of is usually the y, because uh, what's after the in terms of is the uh, manipulated independent variable, and that's the x. If you're thinking in science, thinking about dry mix, the de dependent respondent variable is the y, so that's what's in front of the in terms of. What's behind the in terms of is usually the manipulated independent this is what you're messing with, and this has to depend on this, uh, the x variable. So let's see. Uh, total charge is going to be y. Additional hours parked will be x. y equals mx plus b. By the way, do you have to use y and x? No. Total charge could be c, and additional hours could be a, or h, or q, or theta, or whatever you want. You get to choose. Now, City Parking Garage charges a flat rate of $3. Flat rate of $3. And that looks important. This $3 looks very important. Does it look like a rate, a change over time? Or does it look like a starting point? I'm definitely going with the starting point because it starts the flat rate. If you go in the parking garage, you're paying $3. That's the starting point. So B is going to be 3 because it's my starting point. Now, there's also 50 cents per hour for each additional hour. See, this changes over time. So change over time, this rate, that is 50 cents per hour. And that's my slope. So I have one clue, two clue. These are my major clues. And I'm ready to go. Y equals 50 cents x plus b. That's my equation, and I'm ready to go. Just a few more here, and we're done. Okay, again, my close. First, we have m equals and b equals slope and y-intercept. Six two-foot-tall pine trees were planted during the school's observation of earth awareness week in 1990. The trees have grown an average rate of three-fourths foot per year. Write a linear model. There's my question. That gives the height of the tree in terms of, that's also very important. So the height of the tree is going to be y. The number of years is going to be x. The so y goes in front, x behind. All right, so remember, the m is going to be a rate, change in time. B is going to be a starting point. Let's see. Uh, six two-foot tall pine trees. All right, so two feet tall were planted at the beginning in 1990. Now, does that sound like a rate change in time or a starting point? It's definitely a starting point. 
you start at two feet tall. Now, we also have this three-fourths of a foot. The trees have grown an average rate. Uh, there's a key word. Per is also a key word. Not always, but it gives you a general idea. These are both indicating that this is changing over time, that it's a rate. So, three-fourths is my slope. And now I plug it in. Remember that y equals mx plus b, so in this case, y equals 3 fourths x plus 2. And I'm finished. Now I will say, and going back to the last question, sometimes it's nice to um, let the person know if they've asked in a question, uh, to answer in a question. So we could go through and say, well, you know what? Um, I tell you what, it says write a linear model, so the equation will do in this case. In this one, it says write a linear model, uh, the equation will do as well. So we'll just stick with the equation. In example 7, though, a car salesman makes a base salary of $250 a week and a commission of 8% on the cost of each automobile he sells. Write a linear model, so that's the question, that's what he wants to do. Not really a question, more of a statement. Gives his salary. In terms of, ha, in terms of, that's always important. So what's before in terms of, that's his salary, that's Y. Total price of the cars, that's X. So my close that I'm looking for, the first one is M equals, the second one is B equals. And we can see, car salesman makes a base salary of 250 a week. Okay, now is that a rate or is that a starting point? Well, the interesting thing here is that it's both. He does make 250 each week, but you're talking about for each individual week, that's how much he's going to get. No matter what he does, he will make $250. So really, that's his starting point in this case. He makes $250 a week, bare minimum. If he just sits in a chair all day, he gets $250 a week. But he really doesn't want to do that because he has some incentive, 8%. For the cost of each automobile he sells. Now, you can't put an 8 as, uh, for example, he sells two cars, he gets 8% of that. Depending on how many cars he sells, this is the rate at which he accumulates money. So that 8%, we're going to change to a decimal, 0 0.08. Move that decimal place twice to the left so we get 8 hundredths. And I have both major clues. I just plug it in. Y equals. 8 hundredths x plus 250. Again, I'd encourage you, if you are trying to get some practice on this, please go through, rewind the video, start before I start, oh, excuse me, as soon as I start talking, go ahead and pause the video and try these problems on your own. See how you do. Then, if you don't get it right, rewind again, try it again. It's a good study strategy and something that would be well worth your time. Thank you so much, and have a good day.